Hey, what's up guys? This is Astronox. I've got three five-star hero tickets on each of my accounts. So I have three accounts and this is my main one. What I really want is uh, Ken and or, or K Ron. That would be the best, I would say. Uh, that would be the best. I have uh, Amelicatus would work really well with K-Ron. Ken, I, I've been looking for a bruiser. I got Violet now. I'll be trying him out. He's still getting leveled. But let's begin with the, the first one. I, I think that I just press receive and that's it. It just happens. Like, I get the hero. It just shows up. So, uh, Tamarine could also be very good. But the main thing is I don't want a duplicate. If it's not a duplicate, it's a win. So, let's start with the first one. Oh boy. Oh, Tenebria. I don't need cleaving. I have cleaving already. But she's not a duplicate, so it's a win. It's a win. Oh my god, I could definitely have used a crow as well. Alright, so that was account number one. I'll be switching to the next one. So I'll be back. All right, this is my second account, and on this one, I, uh, yeah, Tamarine would be really good. I'm farming Golem here. I don't have any issue with uh, speed farming Golem, so, um, but what I what I would be uh, in uh, big need of is uh, I, I'm building a turn two team in PvP, so any hero that uh, works for that, uh, yeah, that, that, that could be good. Like a Krow, uh, Tamarine, I could make her work there as well. Um, Cecilia, oh, Cecilia would be really cool too. Uh, on my first account, Cecilia would have been real good. Tenebria though, um, she's fire, so that's a plus because I don't, I don't really have fire heroes there. I have Soul, I have um, Shuri. And that's it. That's all I have, really. Uh, so, yeah, Tenebra is good. I'll eventually build her, but it's no rush for now. So let's see what I get on this account number two. Oh, Kron would be a huge deal as well here. I can use Vi uh, Violet too. Okay. I hope you guys get lucky. Uh, no duplicate. That's the main thing. I have Bellona on my uh, account number one. I have her here as well. Um, this account has been very lucky so far with the in the five star department. So let's see here. Let's see. All right, let's do it up. Let's do it up, boys. Let's do it up. Who do I get? Oh, okay. New hero, fire. This account is mostly fire heroes, and that's what I want because I don't have them on my account number one. So it's really cool and Bell and Season is actually a pretty decent hero. I will always wanted to uh, like uh, build build them. I mean there are two. And uh, I mean solid debuffs on this. Unfortunately, it's not a 100% chance. 85%. Still pretty good. And uh, yeah, this if you kill, the cooldown is uh, reset on uh, skill 3. So, need some skill ups. Soul burn only 10. And poison here. 50% chance. Alright, so no duplicate so far. That's really good. Now, account number 3 is on Europe. And on Europe, I have Ken as my 5 star. And that's it. Ken's the only one. So the odd of getting Ken is uh, is quite slim. I could use, I mean, I can't be too demanding on, on Europe because anything can be good beside Ken, of course. So we'll see, uh, we'll see what I can get, and after that, uh, I'll be talking more about uh, what my pools were. And I hope you guys like uh, get lucky and uh, yeah, don't get a duplicate. Something uh, I, like I know a lot of players were uh, did manage to pull something that they always wanted, but I think they might be a minority uh, because like you usually want a few heroes and there's quite a bit of uh, five stars available in the pool. So I'll be back, guys, for account number three on Europe. 
All right, boys, this is the account I'm the most excited about. Uh, I mean, it's not my main account, but it's on Europe. Progression has been really good. I'm having a lot of fun in here. So I've got Ken as my only five star, uh, natural five star hero. Uh, he's a six star right now. Chaos Sekax is a six star as well. Chaos was the first six star I made. Ken was the second one. Third one could be what I pull, could be a Katis. We'll see. Uh, yeah, I'm still using Ras in PvP. Uh, he's carrying Aureus. I mean, so many different uh, heroes I could be uh, using on this account as... Uh, yeah, hopefully it's not a duplicate of Ken. Oh my god. Oh god, all right. There it is, boys. Let's do it up. Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, Cecilia! No way, I won in the night! This is perfect! This is perfect! Oh, this is beautiful. This is so good. I wanted fire heroes. Oh my, I always wanted Cecilia. She is so strong. And I want to build a uh, turn two team in, uh, in PvP. So I need to survive the initial cleave damage. And there's a lot of Vildreds out there. Um, but there's a lot of says as well. The thing is, oh my, okay. Okay, let's 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 go in the journal and talk about what I got. Man, that is perfect. I can use her instead of Ras, and she is so good at disrupting the enemy team. My God, that that's definitely a top uh, a top summon right there for for this account. That's what I needed. I need I needed to replace Ras. Now she is definitely worthy of a six star. That is very uh, heavy in the fire department, but I'm fine with that. Man, that provoke, the, the attack down, and the decreased defense, perfect. And she has the barrier that she can uh, apply on herself, which increases her survival. Scales of health, so I can go crazy uh, with health on her. Really good, really, really good. Okay, now, the, uh, man... You notice, guys, that was all fire heroes. All fire heroes. And, uh, yeah, Tenebria on account one is... I don't see myself building her anytime soon, though, because I have Bellona. I don't need her in PvP. Uh, I don't need... I mean, if, if I had her built with some gear, I guess I could use her in Guild Wars, but she's not a hero that I would be using often. Now, what else really? Um, Azimanek Hunt though, Tenebria is very strong there, so that's good. And when I decide to uh, really farm that place a lot, that she's gonna be perfect for that. So, but there's also Dizzy. So I mean, now it's different. It's different with Dizzy, and Dizzy can remove uh, buffs, but Tenebria can do it as well. But Dizzy. Dizzy applies too many debuffs. That's the issue. So they get cleared. When you have three on uh, on the Azimanek Hunt boss, they get cleared off instantly. So I've seen videos of Tenebria in there, and she she does perform quite well. The defense down is actually not a hundred percent chance. Seventy five percent chance. Uh, it's still it's still good. I believe Bellona is the same, but when she triggers it after f getting five focus. It's a hundred percent chance with skill ups, but she does a lot of damage though, and by using uh, AOEs back to back, it's yeah, it, it's a, a huge amount of damage. Multipliers are great. That decreased combat trueness can come in handy. Man, that Cecilia, that Cecilia is so good. No duplicate. That was the biggest thing. That was definitely the biggest thing. Like I pulled Violet. And I got comments like, oh my god, you're gonna pull a Violet when you, you use that five-star summoning ticket. Oh, that would be, that's gonna be terrible. But uh, yeah, I, I got a hero I can actually use. Not a top pick, but still, it's a win. It's definitely a win. Now, uh, account number two, Bell and Season. Another hero I uh, wanted to try out. And account number two is already farming Golem. So there's that. The thing is, my team is actually uh, Akates, uh, Ken, 
and uh, also uh, what is it again? Akates can haste and finally soul. So Ken is the only one that can apply defense down uh, debuff, but Ken, I mean, he just spams it with his skill one. So good. So I have him on account two and three. Such an amazing hero. He's so good that I, I went for him on account three on the rerolling initially for selective summon with Akates. My goal was to farm Golem, and it's working out beautifully. That's the team I wanted, so that's. That's really cool. Like it's way more fun to play when you get something you want. I could use this unhealable. Get applied from haste. Who would I replace though? That's the thing. Uh, soul is so good in there. I could replace haste if I want, but I mean haste is doing really good. He's got a bunch of skill ups, so I don't see myself replacing him uh, just yet. This has a massive cooldown. I don't have um, this artifact. I don't have Ethica Scepter. I don't have it on my account number two. So you you kind of need Ethica Scepter with a cooldown long like this. So and also you you kind of want to kill with Dark Cloud, and it, that's gonna be not gonna be happening in uh, in Golem. It's mostly like PvP or even if you use this hero for farming, I would say. But still, this goes down to three turn, which is good, and then you get a reset on that. It's good because that's I'm pretty sure the multiplier is quite good on that, and also the debuffs super useful. And poison, yeah, it can always be used in PvE. Well, whenever they uh, don't have immunity or they're just not straight up immune to it when you press on their portrait. Okay, so I'll eventually build this hero, but so far, account one and two, I'm not building, I'm not in a rush to build them. But account number three, I mean, that's my second five star hero. I've got to do it, I've got to do it. But not only that, I'm super pumped about her, like I would, always wanted this hero and she's gonna be wearing that Aureus, that, that's perfect, that's perfect. So I'll be running um, Ken, Akates and Cecilia, that's gonna be my three heroes that are gonna be in my PvP team and of course uh, Chaos Ekax, he, uh, I'll, I'll be building him with more survival so he can uh, stay alive and really like deal a ton of damage like even if he's built with like one of the item on the right side with health percentage let's say he's still like it's gonna be a ring or boots he's still uh gonna deal a ton of damage so there's that oh my super cool super cool and uh her stats yeah those are really great tank uh, like tanking stats she can actually deal a lot of damage, Cecilia. She scales off of health, uh, health percentage for, um, I mean, just scales off of health, max health for her damage and also from her attack stat. But if you uh, build a lot of crit chance and crit damage on her, she can deal quite a bit of damage with her skills. So that's really cool. And the disruption from provoke and attack down debuff is quite huge this becomes a hundred percent chance after the buff it's beautiful four turn cooldown is uh is quite good actually this on the other hand is not a hundred percent chance wait the chance increase oh i didn't increase by wait are you is so after skill ups it's at 50 percent chance and then you've got 50 percent chance on top of that so it becomes a hundred percent chance when you have less than 50 percent health that is so good now the other thing that is huge on this hero is that soul burn effect that's 10 souls and the uh, skill reduction by two turns actually works for skill three and two which is super super powerful you can like keep on provoking with her and uh I mean, at, at dropping attack down debuff, and she's getting barrier. That that's huge. Like she's a real tank. When when I think about a tank, man, you need to provoke. You you need to get the attention. So 
perfect for that, perfect for that. Got Aureus, super, super pumped. So that's gonna be it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching, I'm Astronox. Like, comment, subscribe for more. Press the bell icon if you like to be notified whenever I release a new video and check out my other videos. They should be showing up on the screen now. Playlists of all sorts, Arena, Guild Wars, Guides, Tips and How-Tos, and Abyss Floor 62 Plus. So check those out if you haven't. And good luck with your summons. I'm out for now, peace.